the Skunk Works Org is a malicious star star citizen collective operating within the grey area between legal and illegal activities in Stanton. The skunks trace their origins back to really dangerous in the before times, first as a top tier community of pilots within the Anti-Xeno initiative and then a highly skilled Anti-Xeno squadron in their own right. But for the past year we have found ourselves here in Stanton, taking on a new challenge within the verse. We are based at ambitious dream station of Crusader L1 Lagrange Point and work in support of the security forces of Crusader and Microtech, where the corporations seem to do right by their people. We stand opposed to Hurston Dynamics and to a lesser degree Art Corp, where life contract slavery is still a reality for many workers in terrible conditions. Skunk Works is structured around self-contained combat task forces and non-combat cores. Each of our task forces is composed of ship crew we call Ravens, fighter pilots we call Raptors, and ground troops we call raccoons. Each task force has its own distinct identity and way of doing things, and it just so happened that I was heading out with Task Force Delta, the Red-Eyed Crows, on a training exercise involving Hammerhead and fighters. I am very much ground and FPS oriented in the Org. It has been many months since I crewed a ship in any real combat, and since the Org's focus has shifted considerably towards PvP, so have techniques advanced enormously. I was to join the crew of the Skunk Works Thor as a gunner, which for today was being crewed mostly by Raccoon, so I'd fit right in, but I was running late. It's like your lover is waiting at the plane. You know, okay. <laughs> 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 I just missed it. Okay. You want a RTO straight away? I'm gonna request now. I think. Yeah. Everyone's in. I don't know where I am. I'm the only one who's moved the turrets. I am gonna take top then. Ready to check? We can see one four one. Communicate when we are ready. Before getting into the PvP practice, we were heading out to Crusader to warm up on some bounty targets, and on the way we'd be briefed by Task Force Delta Commander, Rumline. Alright, all elements, I would like to split into two squadrons, each squadron consisting of one hammerhead and two fighters, and then we will go pull some VHRTs and or HRTs to just practice crew coordination. Um, captains uh, focus on you know clean communication coordination um, clean entry and exit from the combat point and we'll check in again shortly Targets. Hur hurricane, uh, I'm gonna start heading these. Hurricane's on number one. Hurricane gone. Alright. Damn, Hurricane's already dead. Nice. Fuck suey. Warden, oh Jesus, he's dead already. <laughs> Outstanding. I remember the hurricanes being a pain to kill when I was doing these. Good shooting team. Uh, where is the target? Is it on yellow? Uh, Damar. We use a line for a ship at mining facility SCD-1. There we go. We're, we're on our way. There's an interface option to turn it down the distance, but it doesn't work. The next target was a hammerhead near the surface of Damar. As our pilot, Straight Razor, took us down, we prepared to engage the escort ship supporting the target Hammerhead. He's on. Thor, go ahead and lead us in at a decent pace. We will form up on you. This is Thor, over Thieves, on the way. One of the women is in Falcon. Could be in firing range. Here we go. That was very, very fast. Nice. And another Valkyrie. Pin this one. Valkyrie gone. Target down. Odin, this is Thor. Escorts are down. Heading for primary. Range. This is 
Head out to take on one more group of targets before getting to the PvP face-off. Which guns are occupied? Um, I, hang off. I think we're gonna switch to PvP here Ooh. in a second. Yeah, PvP. We need to get someone on my front target though. Yeah, I'll run up there. I'm just trying to find a marker at Crusader. Uh, I'm ready to completely go directly at the start. Yeah, I think it's best to either show the top or the good belly. Point, good point. Is that right? I all elements when everybody is situated. Um, all elements, please spool for Arc L3. So we were heading out to the distant Arccorp L3 Lagrange point, far from Comrade coverage, to face off against another Task Force Delta Hammerhead, the Skunkworks Fenrir, and fighters, with our opponents crewed by experienced ravens and raptors of the Org. Well, that looks big enough for a cyclone in that cargo bay. Yeah. yeah. Can it do the bigger one? The uh... do it, sir. It can? Yeah. Oh. I mean, you can drive PCVs around on the inside of this thing. Nice. Yeah, that video was great. We were now on the edge of the Stanton system, and ready for another briefing from Task Force Commander Rumline. Quantum travel complete. Oh, this is Thor. We are playing clips out. Copy Thor. Right, so for this battle, we are going to be trying to stick together as much as possible. Just like we did with the ERT, I would like Thor to take the lead. And Odin will fly uh, formation with you until we engage. Then Odin will focus on the fighters, and we can battle it out with the other hammerhead. Last time we did PvP, it's been a while. The enemy vessel's shields go down, or if if any vessel shields go down, that vessel is out of the fight and should move away from the combat arena. Uh, do you copy? Thor, this is Odin. Commence the attack. Go. Accelerating to 300. I see them. Where? 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 44 o'clock it is. 11 o'clock, 40 o'clock it is. I have targeted SKWK Fenrir. Roger. Well, front turret has a lock as well. Go! We may be getting flanked by the fighters. They just noise, they just noise. Prepare for noise screen. Incoming missiles, targets back up. Deploy noise on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Is the primary the hammerhead? Primary is hammerhead. Primary is hammerhead. Okay. It's 3.5k still. 3.3. Slow pot, slow pot. Bonus 
starboard? He's just staying out of our range. He knows the hammerhead's weakness. Leo looks like swell. It's been left a little bit. What's like Leo? Our real shield's gone, we have to call it. Real shields are down, we are as well. Hold fire. Our shields were not just down, but completely destroyed. We could go over observations from the fight, though, before resetting. Couple lost couple missiles took our shields down. I mean, oh, we're out of decoy anyway, right? Yeah, we were. You need to be quite deliberate with your defense. Um, and the hammerhead. Okay. We were trying to stay tucked behind the hammerhead for them to uh, to be hidden by its. Uh... EM signature. Interesting though, so I don't know if it was the same for everybody else, but all the missiles that made it hard to make out the fighters for me. Yeah, same. The Skrill fighter has just left me a bit of missile spam. There are no other thoughts, let's reset the fight. That was that other guy. Thor is heading to Skrill 5 for repairs. So we'd be heading back to the station to get repairs and refill countermeasures, which had been fired until dry during the fight. Yeah. And here we see the female hammerhead mate with the docking. <laughs> <laughs> Most raccoons spend so much time on the ground that it's good to crew a ship from time to time to be reminded of the skills required. And I certainly could do with more crewing time myself. For Odin, sit rep. Odin just unlocks and we're on our way to crew L3 in a moment. Or crew L3 in a moment. Arc L3? I don't know which one. We were heading back out to Arcorp L3 to run the fight for a second time, and in an extra special twist, I was chosen to fly the ship this time around. Something I'd not done for a long time in a ship this big and cumbersome. But as I entered the bridge, I was still eager to get out into the fight. I mean, I'd, I'd fly it, but I've never flown it before. Yeah. It's the best, best way to fly it. Can we take a shot? Can we give it a go? Or... Uh, uh, exchange command with Katie. This is Thor ready to go. Oh, I've got him. 82 yep. kilometers. We got him. Okay, moving him. Copy, we're on you. But on this run, our fighter support would lose their shields very quickly. Shields down, I'm back. Oof. That was quick. Range is closing. Lost. Here we go. Our head coming in, port side, port side. Yeah, we took a big hit. Roger, yep. Shields down, out of the fight. Oh, now that goddamn thing is making a noise. The fight was over and we'd been defeated for a second time. Very well done to the crew of the Fenrir and their support pilots. Good copy, Thor. Um, let's rendezvous back at crew L1. Roger, same course for crew L1. 
that you might want to check. Yeah. This elevator is not too corporate, is it? It's all ladder you, somewhere. Oh, good luck you with that fucking it. noise as well, by the way. Yeah, enjoy that. So the training was concluded and we were heading home to Ambitious Dream. And this is what life in a Skunkworks task force is like during the downtime between CIG events like Jumptown or Skunkworks events within the org. Every task force does things in its own way of course, and I had very much enjoyed spending time with Delta on this exercise, always preparing for the next big event in Star Citizen. I'd like to thank all of you at home for watching and as always, send a huge thank you to all of our amazing patrons, who you can see on screen right now. Thank you all for supporting the channel and helping us continue to make these videos. If you would like to know more about the Skunkworks org, you can find a link to our Discord in the description. And if you are new to Star Citizen and yet to create an account with RSI, you can use Use the referral code in the description to gain an extra 5,000 credits when signing up for a new account. And we'll be back with more from the Skunkworks Org very soon.